So today we're gonna to talk to you about kipping pull-ups and whether you should be doing them or not, and butterfly pull-ups. So everything that we do comes back to our pyramid. When we look at a kipping pull-up or a butterfly pull-up, we wanna know, do you have the mobility to bring your shoulder through full flexion, under no load, lying on your back, bringing your hand to the floor over your head. Then we look at the mobility, and we wanna see, are you able to stand up and bring your arms to your ears, straight up overhead? If we have the flexibility and we have the mobility, then we start looking at the strength balance, and we say, okay, are you strong enough to physically pull yourself up to the bar for two pull-ups or three pull-ups in a row? Um, and are you also able to elevate your scapula as well as your, it's the downwardly rotate your scapula? After that, we say, okay, if those things are possible, we're gonna try some kipping pull-ups, um, given that you have some of the skill with how to kip. But just because you have three or four pull-ups in a row does not mean that you should be doing these as a conditioning workout. You wanna treat these more like a strength or a skill where you're focusing on getting one or two coming off the bar and resting because we don't wanna see your skill fade because your work to rest ratio is no good. You get sloppy and you forget how to do these. So now you have some better information on whether you should be doing butterfly or kipping pull-ups or not. Uh, until next time, this is Dr. Sean with The Active Life giving you a brute strength tip.